Hey, <clears throat> how's it going, Virgo? It's your friend Dharma Jane here to do a love reading for you for the month of June, and then we'll extend it all the way into July. It's going to be the love spread, so it's a two-sided relationship. Um, it's feelings, her feelings, or he, he, she, she, whatever. There's just two people in a relationship, so things I say might be backwards to you, but I'm going to keep it consistent instead of saying every single time, well, it could be, well, it could be. So just know that it's going to be either or, however it works for you. This is White Sage and Palo Santo together. Calling in guides, calling in angels, calling in anyone from the highest good that has a message to come forward for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for the month of June and then July. So what is the heartbeat for the relationship at hand, please? What is the heartbeat for the relationship at hand, please? Whoa. So Virgo's had enough. Virgo is at the end of their rope. That is the laying down of the burdens. That is like you have the ten of rods, which are really heavy, and the ten of rods in reverse is when you set them on fire. So that is, you know, substantial. Just heard the, <clears throat> I guess it's a word, but it's also a number. It's alpha. Alpha. And I don't know, maybe there's two alphas. Maybe two or three people in the, I don't know why I just said two or three people in the relationship. Maybe there's two people in the relationship that are all very alpha oriented and it's not working because someone needs to be in charge. Everyone needs to be in charge and they're not, it's like ill communication or ill cooperation. What is the yin energy, please? It is, well, tired of feeling trapped and ready for new love. Damn. When I said end of, end of the line, uh, I think it's, just, that's the end of my line. I'm done. Goodbye. Because I feel like whatever the situation is does make feel trapped. What about the masculine? Where's the uh, gang in this relationship? They're feeling very cautious. I don't feel like the masculine knows quite what the feminine or the yin has on their mind. I feel like it's, I think that there was a final straw and normally when there would be like a big fight, these just fell out. Yeah, this is like not being, this is just what I was saying. Not being real sure about an offer here from Virgo because I'm hearing like you reap what you sow. Like I think that the masculine here went down a path that was too much for this yin to handle and he's not ending up victorious in it because I don't necessarily feel like this cup of love belongs to him. What is the yin, what does the yin want? What does the feminine want in this relationship? What does she want out of it? So it's either going to be, she wants for a Libra to go away or that she wants like recognition. And this could be a Pisces. You got the high priestess there, but it could be, you know, I kind of want to be like, why won't you just go off with your Libra and leave us alone? I don't, But I think it's also like recognition, like, why can't you just admit that I've had injustice? 
Why won't you see that? Why won't you admit that? Why won't you? What I want is for you to understand that this is how I feel. And so what does the masculine want then? What do they want? Where are they? What does the yang want? Love. Duh. But it's not, again, I want to be like, I'm not necessarily sure it's from this yin. Why, I don't understand why these two people are together. It's like they're together, but they're with other people. Or like that's what they want, but they can't have it because they're together. But this is an indication of self-love. You know, wanting to heal. But this feels like a caution, like an explosion. Like he maybe did something... And instead of like normally there was fights and arguments, but this time she was just silent. And so now it's like, oh, dang, that was the final straw. What now? What are the blocks for the yen, please? Uh, well, there's another air sign again. But it's... um. It's, it's, this is, this is not getting the offer of clarity. And I think that's another indication of why can't you just see that this is how I feel justice in reverse. Like, I think this is closure. I think there's two stories going on here. I think one of the, I think one of the storylines that I'm reading is that this person like is in love with an air sign and not the Virgo or that this is the Virgo in love with the air sign. Or that this is the Virgo and all of this air energy is clarity. What is the blocks on the masculine side, please? King of air. So it's, it you know, it's not working with an air sign or like something's not being communicated very well. Or... I just heard the word barking up the wrong tree. I don't even know what that means. You know, the King of Air talks about being cutting things out. That came out three of fire and reverse. It's like like not waiting anymore to work on things and cutting out things that don't serve. But I don't know, we'll get clarifiers because I don't know exactly what it is that he's wanting to cut out here. Um, outcome please for this couple. Anxiety. Someone gets left out in the cold and somebody is left to, I want to be like, reflect. Bottom of the deck is equal giving and taking. There's two disappointments. I there's I don't feel like for this month anyways, we're going to leave the month on a real happy note. I feel like Virgo is going to leave the month like just in hermit mode because I don't feel like any of this closure that's being looked for is going to be received. Why is the 10 of fire in reverse here, please? Yeah, because the marriage or the togetherness is probably over. Definitely over. And and we're disappointed about that. I mean, obviously. It's just because it, I think that this has been inevitable and it keeps getting delayed. I think there, I feel like there's like creative ideas that keep getting tossed around to make it um so that it'll stay together, but I feel like everybody's pulling apart. Why is the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Cups in the yin position, please? She's wishing for something else. Her heart is broken. I mean, either this feminine is an air sign, or the fact that an air sign was around destroyed her. Um... 
Yeah, because I kind of wonder if maybe the air sign is a soulmate of her partner. So like this person is over here like, well, I see you with this other person and they're your soulmate. So I guess what does that make me? Oh my God, that would be awful. But that, it doesn't have to be that. It could be kids. Like, you know, we have to get divorced, but what about the kids? Why is the caution the yang energy? Well, third party, right? Isn't that what we're talking about? Like, he's happy with the third party, but there's anxiety there because it has caused problems. Because he offered... I think it, I think that's like an indication that the pentacle belonged to this person. It shouldn't have been offered at all, but it was. Why is the high priestess in justice here? Well, that's needing it's I feel like that's like needing help. Oh, justice in reverse twice. It she uh, this this yin feels wronged. Absolutely wronged and wants to walk away and look for something else. So then why is the lover's card here for the masculine? Because what he has isn't working and what he wants is something that works. Okay. So there's admittance. I mean, that's closure. It's just like, if that's how you feel, then you should tell this person because that's what they really want is closure. Yeah, he wants love. He wants a happy home. He wants the Nine of Cups. Well, who doesn't? Right? Who doesn't want all their wishes? See, but he wants the Nine of Cups. He wants to have it all, and she just wants something else. Anything else. I feel like I want to be like anything else. Why is the Messenger of Air in the blocks, please? So, again, I want to be like either or. It's either a recognition that the union between her man belongs to an air sign or that this brutal needing to cut out of somebody is very difficult to be done because it is a union, because it's not just something easily to walk away from and to cut out. But there's not any seeing of your ships come in. There's no like progression. There's no, yeah, wow. There's no progression. There's no new start. That's the three of wands in reverse twice, three times actually. This this relationship is not going to see their ships come in in June. What is seeing your ships come in? Well, it depends. If you were going to have ships ordered, what would you put on the boats? Happiness, joy, money, prosperity, abundance, food, healthy food, free will, but none of that's coming forward for this couple together. And I think it's important that I mention together because I think that if this couple were to split, that the prosperity that they are both looking for is just around the corner. Because, and I think that the masculine already knows because he's got a big pentacle there. Like I'm ready. Yeah, he doesn't, he's not even willing to think about it anymore. He's ready. He just, I just don't think he wants to say it. I don't think he wants to hurt anybody, but he's not happy with what he's got. He's crying over spilled milk. Both people feel the same way. Both people want out, but I don't think anybody's willing to admit it. It's almost like this superficial, like, sure, we can be friends. Sure, we can coexist. Sure, we can make it work. It's fine. Everything's groovy and fine, but really everyone is dying inside. Like sometimes, I mean, I'm a Libra, right? So I will just cut straight to the core. Like, hey, by the way, I don't care that you're all hunky-dory. I'm dying inside. Let's talk about it. Especially if this is the cause of why someone is hurting. It doesn't feel malicious, though. It feels very friendly. 
but it got too friendly to where now it's almost superficial. Like the love and the deepness went away because you tried so hard to be friends, which I'm not saying that's a fault. Please understand it's not a fault. It's just what is, or at least in this scenario. Why is the um, outcomes the nine of air? Yeah, because that, that offer is not coming. And there's still going to be a trapped feeling. You've still got people like wanting to walk away, but they're not walking away. There's two eights, which means like not move me, not moving. Yeah, the page of swords twice. That's like still not being satisfied with what, you know, it's like this, this Virgo or this feminine wants to hear something specific. I just heard it's my fault. She wants this person to say it's my fault. Why does that even matter? I mean, if you're going to stay stuck in something and you really want out of it, but you're going to, to like endure until this person turns around and admits fault, you're never going to get that ever. I don't feel like this is the kind of person that will admit their faults. See, you're not going to hear it. Wow, I can't believe that just came out like that. And so, like, and that's what I was saying. There's a delay here. There's a delay for the split up because I think that somebody wants to hear. Look at all of these empty cups on the top of this. There's a delay because you're not hearing what you want to hear. And I think that you're wasting your own life away. Because something excellent for you is right around the corner. Spirit, what can we expect for this same couple in July? What can we expect for this couple in July? Victory. Recognition. So that's either going to be celebration on the masculine side or that's going to be a continuation of the third party. But the feminine does get their clarity, I think. And it might just be an acceptance that things are the way they are instead of and so that's how you get the victory. See, because there's you I think this is like a, a decision to have clarity, right? The Page of Swords. You know, but the masculine also gets their pentacles. See, this is what I'm saying. If everybody would just like admit the truth, then you both go on your merry ways and you become really merry. Just heard the initial H and the name Holly. Harry. So, but I think that that's going to, I think when, I think maybe when Ver, this Yin sees how like easy this masculine is taking it, that it is going to bother them a little bit. It's just, I don't think that they are taking it very well. I just feel like they're not out telling everybody how they feel about it. Yeah, because... The masculine is going to come together. Yeah, the masculine is going to get what he wants, which was love. That came out twice in the same spot, the lovers. But then, see, and this came out in the same spot. So... This is, it's either going to be a reconciliation, you know, and this is victory and this is celebration and this is the new starts, or these are two new, two new relationships. What can we expect for a final, final outcome for this couple, please? Ten of Cups. Moving on. Oh, I'm being left out in the cold. See, so, all right, here you have balance, right? So what I think this is, 
If these are two people that are splitting up but doing it amicably, this is like this Ten of Cups is like awesome co-parenting. Like being really good at being separated. And it makes you feel like you have a second backup, which is great. Because you also have new partners because somebody moved on. But over here, this is like, normally I would say this is like being left out in the cold. But it's like being sent to your next destination with a bag full of loot. Like someone was like, you know what? Hey, you know how like I'm from the South. So like when you try to leave somebody's house or like fix the plate, take a plate. And they'll like fix you a giant plate full of food and like force you to take it, which I mean, force is delicious. But like before you leave, let me give you all this extra help and let me give you all this extra love because it feels really amicable. Like this feels like the set of best friends, but they don't make good lovers at all. And I think that this masculine over here probably has somebody else but so will this person and that's okay it's okay because I feel like everyone here is okay with it it's just the, the big block here was hearing it and then accepting that you weren't going to hear it okay Virgo so that is all I have for you for June and then July uh, check me out on Instagram dharmajane.8 if you'd like a private reading it's in the box below have a good one Virgo